I'm going to do my best to give you some motivation to do energy efficiency projects. I really think it's really important. My whole career has basically been about doing energy efficiency projects or helping them get done. I've worked with the International Energy Agency and I've had the chance to work with some celebrities and former uh, presidents, if you will, on discussions around how can we make this less political, how can we make this more available, because the return is awesome, right? And with Condi, we talked about security. Uh, and last September, we had George W. up there and we were talking about ice cream, but that's another story. But and so what you'll see today is some global energy trends. And it's really important to acknowledge these because these are the trends that set all of the other trends. We can't have an economy if we don't have you know, reasonable weather to grow crops. We can't have an economy if we don't have uh, infrastructure in place, which is damaged when we have some of the effects we're having now. So I hope you'll see this as the global energy trends as much of a context thing. To, we'll do about 20 minutes on that, and then we will get into ways that you can position your energy projects because they're awesome investments. They're fantastic. It beats Wall Street. Okay? It not only beats Wall Street overall, it beats Wall Street 8 out of 10 years. So if you just want to be a part-time investor, 80% of the time you can be right here. Let's just go back 9 years then. If you do the energy, your, your dollar turned into 4. Or I'm sorry, it turned into 5. So your net gain was 4 bucks. And if you did the Dow Jones, you, your dollar turned into 282. Your net gain was 182. So you and your, your utility, with all, the, with all the help they're giving you here today, is doing an awesome job of trying to help us get these projects done with rebates and all this stuff. But basically, we have to be a little bit in sales, okay? A little bit in presentation. Because engineers, and I'm a PhD with a physics degree, you know, I've got all the licenses to go in my cubicle and hide, <laughs> but we have to get out there, okay? How many of you are married again? Raise your hand. So you have been in sales, okay? <laughs> all right, you, but you've done this. You have a resume, you've been in sales. Or, you know, or you've been sold, right? So stuff. <laughs> If you look at the industry and the utility industry, there's been more investment in renewables since 2010, and that trend continues to widen. And that's just our world is changing because of the changes that are being in place by nature. And we're not alone. It's all over the world. Most of the investment is private money. It's not even mandated. Is that if you do energy efficiency projects and reduce the amount of money they have to do in offsets or carbon trading, you're helping them in that area too. You're helping them not only in the marketing, but you're reducing their cost to offset the um, you know, dirty energy they might be using. There's a very good argument to say if, if you find a 30% return project, three-year payback project, and the company's only making 10% profit, you could point that out. You could say, hey, this project actually improves your shareholder value because it's greater than the return of the company. So we have two identical buildings, and one, maybe you retrofit green, and it's you know, $200,000 a year less to operate. Okay. So one costs a million dollars to operate, one is 800K. The green one is worth more money if you ever sold that. If you had 200K savings times five years simple payback, that means someone's willing to spend a million dollars more to get that better building because they're going to make their money back in five years. I would also advocate that most real estate investors are thinking beyond five years. It's free on the website and all the articles that we wrote about, including the Wall Street one that's just recent is also there. So you can use that to your advantage, you know, download it later. Uh, hopefully it'll help you get one more project done. I feel like we've made an accomplishment here. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, context-wise, why we're fighting for this is a bigger picture than just saving money. It's, it's important that you have this in your head that what you do matters on a global scale. It really does. And some things you do here may be modeled. I have talked about the jobs I've done in Bartlesville in China, and those things have made a difference there. But the work you do here matters, and just don't forget, Keep working. <clears throat>